that's camera one. Rolling camera one, roll camera two. Camera one, and camera we're just two. i going to go all the way through this. Camera, camera one, one, camera two. I'm fine. Camera one, camera two. Camera two, camera one, camera, camera two. two. Come on. Hello, and welcome to the A and D show. Should I start that over? I don't know. Whatever. It's a video. Hey, welcome to the A and D video. Video. A and D. A and D video. Something. Welcome to YouTube. Hi. I'm David. I'm Austin. And we. And this. This is the A and D show. Episode of the A and D show season two, two dose. for the podcast. Uh, and on that episode, if you haven't watched that episode, click the link. Which side is the link going to be on? I think the link right is going to be on this side. The card is going to be up. Where's the top of the frame at? Here. Right here. <laughs> In this general region. It's click right the here. link here. If you haven't listened to last, our most recent first, our first episode, our debut episode of season two. Click this link and go listen to that first. Fair warning. Because what we're going to talk about on this video is actually directly linked to that. That being said, uh, as you can tell, Austin didn't wait. He didn't wait for um, us to do a video of the unboxing because here it is. <laughs> Unboxed. Clearly. Oh, you got a message from your wife. My wife. So, I don't know if that's going to show. We'll have to, we may have to blur that out. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> so, anyway, we thought we would take some time <clears throat> um, to discuss. Why? I don't know. Yeah, why? It's a nice phone. It, it it's is a nice, nice phone. phone. It's big. It's gigantic. So, okay. So, Austin got, you know, because he, cause he's like a ch kid in a china cabinet. Child in a... He's like a... Candy store. Candy store. Candy store. He's like a bull in a candy store. And he can't contain himself. When the newest iPhone comes out, he has to get it. You're very excited. He's very excited. And so immediately... I'm a fanboy. He came up to me at work and he was like, bro, bro, I ordered the new phone. So excited. And naturally, I was like, oh, cool. And uh, so he got it in and I said, bro, can you, can you hold off long enough for us to do an unboxing video for the YouTube channel? I think our viewers really like it. I said no. And he said, I'll try. And when he said, I'll try, that he, means no. So here it is uh, in the flesh. One, the first thing I want to show you guys that, that um, maybe you haven't seen any of the videos. First thing to know is that it's actually, let me pull my phone out of here. I have the 8 Plus. So this is the eight plus. This is the XS Max. Now, if you were to look at these from the back, it's the same size. Turn them around. There's pretty much absolutely no difference. Actually, I think yours is a little thicker. Oh, mine doesn't have a screen protector on it. They're pretty much the same. Slightly smaller. Exact same. Exact same depth. Style. Same style, but the biggest difference is screen. Whoa! Why does it keep? It's like it's trying to unlock. It keeps yeah, it vibrating. <laughs> the biggest thing is that it, the screen is um, so significantly it's, larger. Right. It's the same size as the 7 and the 8 Plus. The difference is, is on the XS Max, the, the, the screen's edge to edge. So you yeah. can get all the way, all the real estate. You know, as it's much a six and a half, Right. It's a six and a half inch screen. The biggest screen on a smartphone to date. Where were we at? I don't know. This is a, uh, yeah, uh, the screen size. Screen size. Screen's bigger. Mine's not as big. Next. Oh, it's faster. It's got the thing with the face. The, fa the, the, the face ID is upgraded on this model versus the iPhone 10. Yeah. Uh, I read a report on Forbes this week that there were two areas that apparently the iPhone is underplaying. The i this the iPhone XS uh, and the XS Max screen uh, radiate and 40% less. Uh, harmful light than 
previous models. You're talking about for the eyes? Yeah, like the blue yeah, light. The blue light, yeah. Um, and then also... Is it because of the true tone thing? I don't know. See, the, the, see the, the, no, the, the X and the... Or the 10 shift. and the 8, and I think the 7 had true tone. Yeah. Um, but and the other thing shift, is they said that... They said that the A12 chip that's in the new phones was vastly underplayed for the performance. They said that, that the phone is up to 40% faster than the iPhone X, uh, but it also the, the, the chipset also rivals most chipsets in good computers. Mm. They said that it, it's so powerful that it rivals those, uh, the, the, those high-end chipsets in your computers. Hmm. It, 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 the phone's blazing fast, so I, you know, I've been hands-on for... About a week and a half now. The phone is blazing fast. It's super quick. It's responsive. Face ID works infinitely better than what the iPhone 10 did. Yeah, yeah. You sent me a video the day you with your daughter and it, like the face ID thing attached and it put like one of those memoji things on her head. Yeah. And it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my yeah. life. Yeah. Who's a cat? It, yeah, yeah. It was Just look at it. Did meow. She's so meow. the cool thing is though. Um, shout out to all my. My TNG fans out there, fans of that show will know what I mean by that. For those that are not fans of the that show generation. or don't know, The Next Generation, Nerd. hashtag Star Trek Life. Nerd. But that's what this whole show is about. True. Nerdy, unqualified, and pretty much indistinguishable from rambling. Yes. Shameless plug. <laughs> but what's cool is that if anybody has ever seen this show, or any Star Trek show from the 90s, um, you'll recognize... When I say what a, a pad device, P A D D device is, right? It was basically an iPad, and it was you know about yay big, and they walked around and they touched on it, and it was pretty cool. And what's cool is that now we have them IRL in real life. Yes. <laughs> Apparently your face ID didn't uh, work with my ear. No, it does not. So my face did not look at your ear. That's a good thing. It's true. I, and again, true. I do have a handsome ear. I've yeah. seen your ears. So it's anyway, uh, yeah, so Austin couldn't contain himself, so we made a video. And here it is. Um, the, the, the phone, I, I, I will openly say that uh, uh, the phone is worth the price tag. You sure? It, it really is. The phone, if you, if, if you are one of those people that is wondering, you know, that, that, that you're okay spending the money on the phone, the phone's worth the price tag. I mean, if you have $1,500 to throw away, $1, invest it into our show. We could, we could put it to good use. $1,500. What was it? Like, I think they're like $1,100. $1,100. That's a steal. What? It's a car. Eleven hundred dollars is not a car. What kind of car are you buying for eleven hundred dollars? Kenneth's got his for eleven hundred. Well, have you seen Kenneth's car? <laughs> we shouldn't talk about our sponsor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Kenneth, this is for you. Sorry, you're um, you're you're a kind, kind man. Even though is, you're completely emotionally distant your, from everyone. Your car is glorious. Your car, it's, it's a bit of a dunk, but it's uh. It's your dunk. <laughs> Digging that hole deeper. <laughs> well, anyway, so Austin's phone. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. I don't know. Here's the thing. Like I, I've, I, I got the eight plus when it came out. Um, pretty much. I actually, I pre-ordered it when it came out. Only like a couple days early, but I pre-ordered it, and it was. It's a good phone. It's mm -hmm. still good. Um, so, the statement from me, which I'm not. I'm not. I've never. I've never used an X just personally. I played with one. Um, I have looked at this one a little, but for me, if you're at the eight plus or the eight, are we good? Okay. If you're at the eight plus or the eight already, or even the ten, and the question comes in your mind, is it so much better that I should upgrade from where I'm at now? My opinion is probably not. The reason why is because it is an S model, which means it's going to be a higher end version, but it's not a huge change. It's not changing the landscape of the iPhone or phones in general. It does improve upon the changes that were already made, but it doesn't really make it like it didn't blow my mind, right? Well, yeah, for for me, for me, I think that that uh, I'll actually disagree with you on there. I think that that it is. Uh, a, a huge, a huge improvement. Um, I, I, I liked the idea of the plus model. Um, I was always one of those. I, I, 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm a not a real burly guy, so I can wear little tighter fitting pants. I was always worried about how, would the phone fit in my pocket. It was right. a big concern for me. Um, I mean, if you wore pants that didn't have tiny baby pockets. We did, we did family photos this week, and uh, one of the pictures, my phone just hanging out like an idiot. <laughs> um, well, that's what you get for but, uh, like a 15 but, but I, said, I will say that, pocket. you know, I will say that, uh, that, that, that I do think that if you don't mind the bigger device, so if you like the size of the 7 Plus, the 8 Plus, um, and you want some more real estate on that screen, it's yeah. absolutely worth the investment. Really well, really and here's the, here's the real kicker. So for anybody that's using a phone older than the 8 or the 10, um, it's going to be a massive change for any of you guys, right? So if that's something that, you know, if that's kind of, that, that describes your use, or if even if you're coming from like a non-iPhone, an Android phone, or whatever there is out there that nobody cares about. If you're coming from that direction, it's gonna be a huge difference. It's gonna make a big difference in, you, in your use. For me, it didn't really change much. It doesn't change a whole lot about the use of the device. And I'd already spent so much on this one that I couldn't justify spending any more on another. True. That's just me. So, that being said, uh, on a scale from one to, uh, what, are the, what kind of scale do you want to do for this? Three. Ten. I mean, it's got to be something that's like A and D showy. 42. 42. The answer is 42. The answer is always either no, seven, or 42. If you don't know that reference, you need to go see The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yes. It's phenomenal. It's a great film. It's a great film. Great, great film. film. In fact, uh, I'll even put a link to it on uh, Amazon right here. You can just click on this link. I'm not going to track that. That's going to be way too much work. <laughs> right here. I'm going to put a link to Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's our, that's our, that's our supported... Just put the poster like right here. Yeah, right over his face. The poster, the poster right, right over here. his face. And that's our supported video, supported movie for this episode. <laughs> uh, I, no, honestly, I, I, scale of 1 to 10, I, I, I honestly, 8.5 to 9. It, it really is... 8.5 to 9. Yeah. Which means there's still room for improvement. There is. There is. I, I would say the, the biggest improvement that I would like to see with, with the, the, the iPhones, um, that I think that they, that they really could have made, um, you know, me personally, I, I do kind of miss the headphone jack. I, I really do. I don't care. I, I, you know, I have AirPods, so I don't really, I don't really use them, but... I've got the headphones at home, like when I mow the yard. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, it's not a huge deal. I'm with um, you on that. Cause... But I do think that the the more that they do things that are proprietary, yeah. it, 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 yeah. it, it's hard for the market. Um, I I do think that I like uh, you know you know you know I really wish that they would just go to like USB C because that's kind of eventually that will become the the I standard. I think some of your Google phones have started going USB C. Yeah, they have. Um, you know, I know that they made, you know, you know, you know, you have the new MacBook, they, they made a push for the USB-C, uh, not a huge, huge market yet, but it's, it, it, there's going to be just because it's, it's getting better. Know, in fact, the, 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 the transfer speeds are incredibly fast. And the fact that you can have, uh, you know, you know, one plug that can charge and transfer data yeah. and, and power, de power devices, um, it's, it's worth having that spot. Uh, I think, you know, I think you're right. I think it would be nice to have. The headphone jack back, especially for me. I like to listen to audiobooks when I drive, and my phone dies pretty fast sometimes. Okay. And so to have it be able to charge and plug without having to buy a $50 adapter from the airport three weeks ago like I did. Um, Bad move. Yeah. It works, works good, though. I bet it does. It's expensive and mess, though. I bet it does. But instead of having to do that, it'd be nice to have it back. But at the same time, they could always just include one. Yeah. They, they, they include to. the converter, the... The uh, lightning to three and a half millimeters. So why couldn't they just include one that splits? Right. Apple, listen. Yeah. I know you're. I know it's t Tim. Tim Cook. Tim. Timothy. Timo. Listen. I know you're watching this video. Give, give us. Give us what we want. Yeah. It's not too much to ask. Splitter. Is it too much to ask? Me splitter. Please comment below. Let us know if it's too much to ask. Tim. Tim Cook. Specifically. Is it too much to ask? The cameraman's telling us it's too much to ask. Tim, we're sorry. Apologies. Apologies accepted. It's on me. By you. It's We're accepting the, the, our apologies for you, Tim. I'm embarrassed. You should be embarrassed. I can't Sorry. English today. It's fine. Are we done? Yeah. It's pretty, pretty close. Yeah. Right? How are we going to end this? Just waving in the camera? It's such a lame thing to do. We've got to do something cool. What if we had like an explosion? What if something like blew up? Like if I, if I took 
Here, let's let's do one of those. Um, you know what? Uh, Star Wars. Episode. Nope, got it. <laughs>